how to pass everything around all the time. Currying for the win. Kind of. Currying is... See, the, the JavaScript bros have, like, diluted the word of what currying is. Because everybody's like, oh, this is currying, and they're just passing a function as an argument. Like, no. No, 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 no. That is, at best, a callback function. Or, sorry, at worst, a callback function. At best, that's higher order functions. Higher order function is, like, functions are first class. They can be passed as arguments to functions. They can be returned by function. You can return functions from functions, and you can compose functions of functions. The Java, some of the JavaScript rows have diluted the word. Like, currying is like a, is a mathematical concept that's made its way into certain functional programming languages, where if you have a function, for example, if you have a function that is three arguments, that's actually a function of one argument that returns a function that takes one argument and returns a function that takes one argument that returns the value. Because I, I wrote a library, actually, that for enclosure that uses macros to implement currying. We're going to have to bring it up on screen. We're going to have to do it. We're going we're gonna to ignore us. We're being stupid. How do I demonstrate to the people what currying is? Currying is magic. So this thing up for a short. Currying. There's also like, but yeah, I, I hate it when people say call, I hate it when people call like callbacks or closures or higher order functions. I hate it when they call them currying because currying is like a special thing. It is part of your function like type definition. If I were to say that. So really a function of like three or four arguments is composed of functions that take one argument and return the next function that takes the next argument. I'm going to demonstrate this. I went to my jithub, github.com slash Uh, Excuse me. Oh. I was like, what? Oh good, we're still zoomed in. That's perfect. Repositories. LSP mode. I forgot LSP mode to delete it all because uh, Masala. I call it Masala. It's like the currying enclosure for fun. Perfect. Scroll down. And let me see if I can make this better. Okay, so this is a perfect example of what currying does, right? I created a macro called def curried. And it takes this function of four arguments and it returns a function that takes one argument, w, presumably, if I remember correctly, w, and it returns a function that takes the second argument and that function returns a function that takes the first argument or not the first argument, the third argument and that function returns a function that takes the fourth argument that computes the final result. So it's kind of like this like, I don't know, each, each like argument in the function is a closure over or I guess like if if you were to say it in true like mathematical parlance, each argument to a function is an a function of the previous argument. That's kind of what it means. Um but if you do this, it actually makes implementing a partial function very easy. Now closure already has partial functions. And it doesn't do currying at all, okay? But you can implement your own partial function in a programming language if your type definition of a function is curried. It's very, very easy to do that. Like, let's go look at the code real quick. 
So this is the macro that I wrote. Uh, def create that just creates the function. But yeah, it's just a function that like literally, it's this is a recursive macro by the way. Super fun to write in Clojure if you ever wanted to write one, but it's a recursive macro. Function, it just returns a function with like the first argument as its argument. And then it, it basically creates another function inside of it using the same macro and does the same thing, but then the, with the next argument and it just goes like that. I'm scared. <laughs> you should be scared. This is like, this is like the dankest functional programming shit ever. Funk tools are OP. And then I created a convenience macro def curry. And then I created a macro called, or a function called do curry, which will just like recursively expand the thing. And then I wrote another experimental function called uncurry that will take a curried function and recompose it back into a normal, you know, n, n airy function. And then here's the partial function. Thank you, GitHub, for being so dumb. Here's the partial function. Why is it doing that? That's so dumb. Anyways, partial function. Very easy with currying, right? Apply do curry f into args. And that's it. And then you can kind of have like, you know, you can have a partial function of a curried function. Def curry five, def curry five. Yeah, so that's that's what currying is in functional programming. I'm glad it, I made this library to demonstrate to people what, because this right here, this this just sums it up so perfectly. Cursively curry your way out of a bad situation. Uh, no, but like, if Scala, for example, or old versions of Scala have currying built in, right? from what I remember of Scala. Scala has creating built in. So if you use, like, you can just naturally create partial functions. You don't even need to call a partial function or anything. You just pass fewer arguments into a function in Scala and you'll get back the other functions as your return value. You'll get back the other functions in the creating chain. So you can just automatically create partial functions this way, very simply. Anyone hungry for curry? What would be the real world use case for this? Partial function applications and function composition. It's basically it. Threading macros, enclosure, as syntax to ease this type of operation. Mm. Are you talking to felonious chimp wind boy? Cause all of threading macro does is thread things through the first argument, right? But if I call a function enclosure without with fewer arguments, I won't get back a closure. Or sorry, I won't get back a curried function. Damn it. If I call it with fewer arguments, I'll get an exception. Because closure doesn't technically doesn't have curried functions. I think, you get, I think Haskell has curried functions as well. I thought it was similar to list comprehensions in Haskell. What, currying? Or the threading macro. So threading, no, no, no. So threading is simply syntactic sugar, like just totally syntactic sugar.